In this video, we'll cover installing the VideoSync application, its control surface, and plugins. We'll take a look at the status icon and what it's for, and how to enter your purchase license. Let's begin with the downloaded VideoSync installer. This is the only file you'll need, regardless of whether you've purchased a license or not. VideoSync will run in trial mode until you enter a license, but more on that later. Let's open the DMG file we just downloaded and drag the VideoSync app into our Applications folder. Now let's open VideoSync. At the top of the window, it shows that VideoSync is not yet connected to Live, so let's open Live as well. Right away, we get the installation dialog for VideoSync, which will take care of the final steps we need to take in order to start using it. First, it installs the control surface, after which it tells us to close and reopen Live, and this is because Live detects new control surfaces on startup. Now let's just do what the video is telling us to do, and select the show sync control surface in Live's preferences. Once we've done this, the installer will place VideoSync's plugins into the user library and tell us we're done. And when we hover over the video sync window, we can see that it is now connected. Another way to check if video sync is connected to live is by looking at the status icon in the menu bar. When the color is solid, it's connected. When it's transparent, it's not. We can also click the icon to open the status window. And here at the bottom in the console, we can also read about the connection status or find error messages should anything go wrong. One setting here that we'll leave on is always on top. This will ensure that the video sync window won't disappear behind live while we're working in live. Ideally, we'd use a second monitor for video sync's window, but this will do for this tutorial. Finally, let's go into video sync's preferences here in the menu bar or by using the shortcut command comma. In the general tab, we can set whether we want the status icon to be visible in the menu bar and show the current output frames per second, and we can let VideoSync check for updates, be it manually or automatically at startup. If we go to the License tab, here is where we can enter our license key and the email address it is attached to. Once the license has been entered, the bouncing logo will no longer appear in the output window. You can always deactivate your license here as well, so you can reuse your license on a new computer.